بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا صلى الله على نبي الله محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم I welcome you today my friend is here on my YouTube channel this is Sayyid Abd Rahman Shaykh Hassan uh, today إن شاء الله we're gonna talk about that the warning that Allah سبحانه وتعالى give us uh, as the human is through his Quran. I used to study a lot about the ancient people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed, such as the people of Noah, people of Ad, people of Thamud, and the Pharaoh, and many of them. So I used to study them in, in their lives of what they used to do, what they were actually doing in their lives for the last 40, 40 days, if you can find anything Quran, which is plenty of information in the Quran to find that what people used to do last 40 days before they were destroyed. Uh, for example, the Pharaoh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us Quran that after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Ibn Israel to leave Egypt, that Pharaoh chased them in the morning. He followed them in the morning. And in that time, I can say that in, in, in Surah Al-Shu'ara, Pharaoh was making a lot of threats uh, against the children of Israel, like uh, calling them weak people. And he called himself his most powerful God. They gathered them. He said, we used to enslave them. They're nothing... They Basically, what I mean is that he went crazy on them. And that was actually his last days. If it's not his last week, that ayat in Surah Al-Shu'ara, the boy, the chapter of boy, was actually Pharaoh's last, uh, I would say, maybe less than 30 days, maybe a week. So today, inshallah, we're going to talk about what is the warning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us in the Quran before he destroys a nation or nations. So today, as you know, today, there are a lot of corruption is on earth, mainly responsible by Yajuj, Yajuj and Wemajuj. Also, most Muslims don't believe that because they're really brainwashed. They stop learning anything on history and who were the people of Yajuj and Majuj and many of, many of the Muslim scholars believe that Yajuj and Majuj are somewhere in caves or in the earth. Uh, just, uh, it, it, it's really sad how Muslim scholars failed on this, this subject of Yajuj, 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 Yajuj and Majuj, Gog and Magog and the corruption they're doing. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describing us a people Usually he described them, he gave us a description of what they do. It's not necessarily what they look like, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell us description of their bad deeds. That's the, the bad people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us destruction. Uh, he gave us description or what they description of what kind of bad deeds they do. So then all we have to do 
it's matched the description it's matched the the bad description Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us and the people so if they match this is the people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about so the description Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us about the ajuju majuj is that they do corruption what is corruption corruption is anything that changes the normal natural way of earth because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he told us in the Quran Every time he destroyed the nation, he started another nation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told that those nations who came after the previous nations were destroyed, do not corrupt the earth, do not go against the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and do not disbelieve him and his messengers. And remember, every nation is on earth, most of them, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran, they had their own messengers. And from... From day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared Muhammad was the prophet of messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the way to the last day on earth. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of humans, no matter what nationality, all of the humans here on earth. So the description of Quran gives the Yajij is a description, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's actually corruption. And corruption is number one, killing, corrupting the farms. You got it, that uh, GMO killing. You see mass genocide going on in, in the world. Uh, corruption of bed. You, you mean this kind of satanic stuff where they where they now calling women men and calling men and women. They're not only calling names, they're do, doing actual actual transformation of their bodies into the feminine and masculinity. You just, uh, it's, it's the way corruption, it's the way corruption on earth. That's the part. Another part of corruption is financial corruption, where most, most powerful nation is in a slave and oppressed the weaker nation is the weaker people. So all those combined together, you're going to get giant corruption going on in the world in this age. So who's doing that? It's doing by the West. Now we, discuss, now we establish that the West is doing the corruption. Then can we say the West is actually a huge or a huge? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yajuj Majuj are West and East, although this uh, this is where I kind of different with my brief Sheikh, Sheikh Hussein. He believes that Russia are not uh, part of Yajuj Majuj. Russia is one of the biggest Yajuj Majuj because the white Russians, as they used to call them, or Rus, sometimes they say it like Kivian Rus, were Swedes people. One of the ancient Swedes, they they used to call it Swiss tribes of Nordic people. And Swiss tribes were originally from Viking. Before Viking, uh, they're originally from uh, Yajuj Majuj. And how do they, but before they just uh, uh, called themselves Yajuj Majuj, they're part of this tribe of Nordic European called Ashkenaz. Remember, most Jews on today call themselves Ashkenaz because they're actually related. Ancient the Ashkenaz, which is red hair or blonde, or blonde Europeans, they're the same. And NATO is their military. So now we, we, we can say that the West is actually Yajuj Majuj and the West is the one who's doing the corruption. So let's see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so after be after people, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent send the people his messengers or his messenger, after they refused the messenger, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, sent them torment, punishment, but it's not permanent and final punishment. This this punishment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended intended those who are targeted to come back to him to believe him and to believe in the messenger and stop corrupting earth and stop disbelieving him. But uh, if they refuse that, 
and just to continue uh, their corruption, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us everything they need, their lives. So let's see, let's go what uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about وَلَقَدْ أَخَذْنَاهُمْ بِالْعَذَابِ فَمَا اسْتَكَانُوا لِرَبِّهِمْ وَمَا يَتَضَرَّعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we have already seized them with torment, but they never humbled themselves to their Lord, nor did they submissively appeal to Him. Okay, this is the, this is the temporary banishment where humans get, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended, as He mentioned it before, so they can come back to him and be good Muslims and believe Allah. So this is this is a surah, uh, this is Surah Al Muminun, Surah Al Muminun, Ayah seventy six. You can see over here. So and then, what happened after they refuse everything? Don't want to believe Allah and His Messenger. Don't want to stop the corruption on earth. Just to continue all the bad deeds they, they do here, here on earth. Then Allah say another ayah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِرُوا بِهِ فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ أَبْوَابَ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى إِذَا فَرِحُوا بِمَا أُوتُوا Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala. When, when they became oblivious to, to warning, who showered them with everything they desired. But just as they prayedful, okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically saying after they reject the religion of Allah and continue the corruption and they don't want to believe it anymore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them everything they need here on earth. Do what Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala said. He said, he says, فَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ We open them. أَبْوَابَ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ The gates, the doors of everything, the world, the technological advance, the, the advancement of anything of their societal relationship. Even their corruption becomes so advanced they do everything that they want. It. They can even create a fake pandemic and call it a real one. And remember, hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, the name of the hadith for the pandemic, it's actually Blake. But they removed that from the dictionary. So nobody will find, will find out. So they just uh, created a new word to call pandemic. Okay. So basically, after they reject the deen of Allah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let them have everything they desire here, here on earth. Everything that they want. And then after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hatta idha farihu, until they became so happy, so overjoyed, so, so prideful. It's like, and they, just like Qarun, remember, he says, when people ask him, hey, Qarun, don't forget. Allah give you all of this so you don't have to forget Akhiro. He said, I got this for my knowledge. So these people, actually, they are people who, who are destined or their destination is destruction. So Allah give them, subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything they need. Like I said, technological advancement, wealth, unlimited power. As you know it, the, those families who own Western monetary system, like U.S. Federal Reserve or uh, Euros, IMF, World Bank, all of these giant uh, financial institutions, BlackRock, all of these, all of these people, they create money from out of thin air. So basically, like like Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in here. They got open for it every door. The door of creating money out of thin air, the gold, the wealth, the everything, everything, everything they need, they were given because their, their destination, their destination is the destruction. And then Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
and then after they became overjoyed, it's like crazy. Like like they don't believe Allah. They they believe that no human is can stop them. They can do whatever they want here. They call owners of the earth themselves, Subhanahu wa Taala, Subhanallah, and they forget Allah. They forget Allah. And some of them they even very close to call themselves Dijal. I remember uh, you Muslims. These people are precursors of the jail. These people are soldiers of the jail. I have no doubt in my mind. These people are the jail is food food soldiers. And as you know it, some of the hadiths of the some of the hadith from Prophet Sallallahu say that when Prophet Isa came, when Prophet Prophet Isa Nabi Prophet Jesus Allah, Allah uh, send him down. There are less and less humans on earth. So we have that. Uh, today they have all kinds of technologies to destroy the humankind. And most likely, uh, these people, these crazy people who are so happy, what they have now will destroy humans if it's not more than 75% of humans. That's every four, every four people on earth, at least they two or three of them, just people will kill. It's just my opinion. And that's look like that way. So after they got everything, Allah, Allah opened all the gates, even the exploration of space and seas, everything technological, the medical advancement, where they even talking about creating synthetic life, which is not real life. Synthetic life is shaitan's life. It's basically corruption. It's a big way corruption. And Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the Quran, those who, uh, those who they worship or anything else, they're not even able to create a, a smallest bug. So this is all mechanical and synthetic life, nothing real. And it, this is all satanic. It's all lies. It's all delusion. It's all deception. Are you paying attention? What is the name? What the, what, what, do you know the name? The new, uh, do you know the meaning of the name Dajjal in Arabic? It's a deception. Dajjal means deception. Everything you see today is deceptive. It's a deception. They deceive your eyes. Nothing is true about it. So then after that, remember, the people we're talking about are the Western. Some extent, China, India, or uh, or those people who are Khalij al-Arab, like Imarat, that, uh, those areas, they are inter interconnected financially. So after they got everything that they wanted, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and they became happy, remember, uh, whatever Allah gave them, they became so happy. Then Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then we seize them suddenly. You see that Allah will seize them suddenly because they forgot everything. They forgot everything. They rejected the religion of Allah and they became craziness with their corruption. Baghtatan, suddenly, then Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, faidahum mublisun. Then they instantly fell into the despair. They, they have no power because Satan. Satan make them beautiful, what they were doing, and they always say we're their head back. These people are corrupted. These people are here, Juju, my Juju. And their actually destruction is coming. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that after they forget what they have been told, which is the religion of Allah. Be good, be good Muslims, don't corrupt the earth. And they rejected everything. Allah gave them everything they wanted. That's their last. That's their last, that's actually their last moment, their lives here on earth. Then Allah at the end says, Faidahum Mublisun, and they suddenly became so despair, or instantly became despair. Then Allah says, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Pogodi'ada biril qawmil ladina dhalamu. Then Allah says, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sondar hung duris were utterly uprooted. Allah destroyed them all. Not even single thing left. Remember, uh, people of Ad, the people of Nabiullah, uh, Nabiullah, uh, 
Allah said, فَهَلْ تَرَى مِنْ بَاقِيَا Do you see any remnant of them? No. Just like that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy them and nothing will be left on them. Then it's very end, Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Allahu Akbar. And the praise is for Allah, Lord of all worlds. Always praise belongs to only true God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Rabbi, the Lord of this world. So this ayah, as he said, it's basically explaining, it's explaining the coming destruction of the world, whether this Western elite do themselves thinking that they can do anything that they want, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala suddenly flip them, their conspiracy or their uh, games on them, and they will be destroyed, or there will be upfront destruction, destruction from Allah. Either way, I can see through this ayah that big destruction is coming in this world. We don't know Allah. Allah Allah is Allah is the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who knows the unknown. Nobody knows. But through his uh, ayah, through his sign, through his book, through his Quran, we can learn what's coming. And Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always told us, and he always he separated the two beds who humans will take. The Ramadurs and the Muslims, Al Mu'minun, the believers. So you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention when people reach their zenith or their peak of their civilization and they're not Muslims and they're doing corruption on earth, that actually their destruction is coming. Their destruction is coming. I just show you the ayat Quran. So basically, if you, if you, if you can notice this, you got to pay attention that big destruction is coming, but Allah knows the best, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum. This, this, uh, this ayah has been causing me a lot of pain in majesty. And uh, I'm just so happy, although it's not long uh, explanation, I'm just so happy to let it out and see that since uh, if I explain it again, the people of West, they got everything they want in life. They got money, they got wealth, they got everything, technological advancement, everything they need. And they're Muslims. They're not only Muslims. They're not only refuse Islam, but they also are one of the worst kind of disbelievers. They're not only what is the kind of disbelievers, they are spreading corruption on earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates this corruption here on earth. The earth belongs to Allah. Allah is the only, is the sole owner of the earth. So anybody who try to corrupt the earth and do all of this, whether it's financial, all kind of stuff, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy them. So that's all I want to say today, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.